Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a kitchen clean with me and also a pantry organization video. Now notice that I use pantry in quotation marks. It's because I really don't have a pantry, but I do have cabinets that I've made as a pantry. So I just want to show you guys how you can take something that is small or not really what it is and turn it into what you want. Long as you're organized for the way you like it in your home, it can work perfectly for you guys. So if you have not done so yet, please hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of this video. You can do it now actually while I'm talking to you guys. And also please hit that bell button on the right hand side as well so you want to so you know when the next time I upload another video and if you guys do not know I upload every Tuesday and Friday. So if you guys are ready, please give this video a thumbs up and let's organize with me. Come on. So you guys, the first thing that I like to do is start off by putting up the dishes that were already clean. Now, if you can see, there are some dishes in my sink. So before I started cleaning those, I like to put away the dishes that I had air drying um, away first. Now here I am um, emptying out my, I'm not emptying out, I am loading up my dishwasher um, if you guys are like me, I do not um, run my dishwasher every night. I do it only when it's full. So I, that means I do like to rinse off my dishes first. And I do like to reuse the Cascade Complete little pods. Um, let me know down which um, dishwashing pods are best for you guys that you like to use. And here what I'm doing is getting a clean pot. And I am putting in water in the pot. And I had already... I'm letting the um, pot um, boil because um, I am going to do a like a natural air refreshener in my cop in my kitchen. I really like to do this. Um, so what I do is just get a pot of water, boil the pot of water, and then once the water is boiling, I get it and I transfer it over to the sink. And I like to use Fabuloso. Um, y'all, this stuff smells so good. They got different fragrances. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. So what I do is just pour some into the sink. Um, I, of course, you need to stop it up so the water don't go out. And I just pour the boiling hot water in the sink. Um, and y'all, let me tell y'all, it smells so, so good. It makes your whole, like, kitchen area, your whole house, depending on the size of your house. My house isn't that big. So my whole house typically smells really good from this. Oh, y'all, it is so, so good. So try it. Just get a boiling pot of water and put some drops of that in there. And you, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it smells good. So here I am cleaning off my table, y'all. It needed it so bad. My daughter had a paint project that night. And homegirl just went in on my poor little table. But thankfully, the paint was washable. But y'all parents know how kids get messing up stuff. So here I am putting on my runner, my burlap runner that my mommy bought me. I am into, I guess it's not burlap. I guess that's that gangong or whatever type style. But I really like that farmhouse look. And that is a table set or a little decor thing that I made y'all from the dollar store. Don't sleep on the dollar store. So here is my pantry type thing y'all. And it's not that big, but I want to show you what you can do with it. So I got these pantry stickers or labels, organization labels at home at Hobby Lobby and they were $9.99. So, and they already have like snacks, condiments, um, just different things on them. And I was showing you at the back, it's had empty ones. So you can write your own label on there. And it's even good for spices like nutmeg, sugar, all that type of different stuff. So they were $9.99 at Hobby Lobby. And it's from me and my big idea. So I think it's the happy planner um, people who do all that. So pretty cool. So y'all, I'm about to show y'all my little organization here. So we have stuff everywhere, y'all. And like I said, I don't have a really a designated pantry. So I made this little area my um, pantry area for food. It's very important to me to keep be organized, especially when it comes to my food, because when things are disorganized or cluttered and I can't find what I'm looking for, I tend to spend more money and then eventually I'll end up finding what I already had and I do that a lot lately. 
So I'm really trying to get better at that. And by doing that, you save more money because you're not buying the same things over and over again. So here are all my little pantry items. Um, Y'all, most of this stuff come from Aldi's. Shout out to Aldi's. But yeah, so I'm going to try to put some of this stuff um, in different containers. Now, I didn't have enough containers for everything, but I'm just going to try to work with what I got at the moment. So here, like I said, I'm going into the labels to see what I got. Now, these little clear container things, I did purchase those at Aldi's. They were $4.99. Um, to be honest with y'all, I'd rather y'all go and order some on Amazon or go to the container store. I was trying to be cheap, and y'all, for the video, they did really good. But after I was done with the video and we used them for a couple of days, the top lid part broke off. So, I mean, but I still use the container part, but the top lid part, it just broke. Off. So what I like to do, y'all, I'm extra. I, I have tweezers that I use for my planner stickers to stick stuff on right because, y'all, sometimes my hand ain't about the right. So I'm just trying to put this on neatly as possible and it still was sloppy and had bubbles in it. But, you know, we're going to do what it do. If you guys see at the top, that's how it looks. So and I also got this perfect pantry um, little thing. I actually got that, I believe, at um, Ross. And it's for just to put like canned goods and different things like that. So there is my bars, one oat, cereal, and snack. So I only bought four because I really wanted to see how they were. Um, and then this is where I just put some of my daughter's snacks from after school. She likes to get some of those. Now, y'all, I'm proud of myself because this is still organized. Um, I filmed this video probably two weeks ago now, and it's still organized. So it really does pay off to, you know, try to make the effort to keep it straight and organized because we two weeks strong in this mug. So here I'm just adding the snack sticker to the front or the side of this container. And if you guys have a really big pantry, a real pantry, you guys can really do some neat stuff with these stickers. So I will highly recommend them. Um, and also I got this, I bought this little thing from, I believe it was at Ross. And it's just for to put like my different, um, like um taco seasoning mix um like i think my husband liked to have like packaged tuna and different things like that um so i just decided to put those in there and also i believe i put my popcorn bags inside of there as well and then here i'm just adding some boxes like i said i didn't get a whole bunch of containers because one they didn't have a lot and then two i just wanted to really see how it all would look so yeah, you guys, this is just what it is looking like now. It I can honestly say it is still neat like that. So I'm very proud of my family and I for keeping it neat. And it's going to help us in the long run to really see what we have and not spend extra money. So you guys, if you like these type of organizations and clean with me videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And I do plan on more video, doing more videos like this. I really like this. And on the plus side, it helps me to keep my own house organized. So if you guys have not done so yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.